Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. Tonight we are checking in this game and before I let that into my hotel, I gotta check what's inside. You never know what could be inside one of these game boxes. I am Motuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we're answering is what's in the box in regards to the Hall of Heroes expansion for Raiders of the North Sea, a Viking-themed board game that I fell in love with after um, picking it up this year at Origins Game Fair 2019. Yeah, at the Tabletop Bellhop, we are all about the new hotness from about three years ago. But hey, you know what? Old games don't mean bad games. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the shrink wrap off this so you guys can stop seeing all the glare. Uh, no, I did purchase this myself. This is not a review copy. This did not come from Renegade Games. It was purchased at a local game store called the CG Realm. If you're in the Windsor, Ontario area, this is a fantastic local game store with a great gaming space and some of the best prices you will find. Taxes always included. This particular game was $38 Canadian, all in. This particular expansion. So up first, I'll read off the back of the box for those of you who haven't seen it. One of the things I am going to note right away the box doesn't shut when you get it. That's normal. That's all I know. I have to assume it's because there's punch boards in here, and once you punch them, they'll, it'll, it'll set normal. But when you buy the game, it does not seal shut. Hall of Heroes, Raiders of the North Sea. In Raiders of the North Sea, Hall of Heroes, a mead hall, has been constructed. Oh, I already like it. Attracting new breed of adventurers. Each raid brings new quests for the daring to endure. With mead in abundance, there is little room for the wary. So sharpen your axe and ready your shield. There are new adventures awaiting, because you need an axe and a shield at the Mead Hall. Ah, uh, it contains a bunch of stuff. You can see that online if you want to see it. Features art by the awesome Miko. I am a Miko fanboy. Have been since first discovering Miko in the um, Daily Magic Games booth when I first tried out their game Valeria Card Kingdoms. That was before I even knew that who Miko was, even though this game had come out first. Art by the awesome Miko. And take a look at what you get in Hall of Heroes. All right, right on top, we have a rule book. And again, this is sticking out past the top. Rather thin, surprisingly thin, to be honest, for an expansion. We're going to flip through this just a bit. Lots of bright, bright artwork. Nice brown. Again, I'm a huge fan of dark text on a light background. Good to see. This is a nice large font. Out of everything on box tonight, this is the largest font. I can almost read it sitting here. We've got new setup rules. Looks like lots of colorful examples. Looks like everything I would want in a rule book. We are up to a total of eight pages. Not bad. I've seen full games with less, but I've seen many with a lot more. Uh, the last page almost doesn't count because this is just icon representations. Again, love the Miko art. Then we have punch boards. I knew there was going to be punch boards because they were sticking up. We've got some punch boards here. These look like they're new tiles for the, um, the Yarl. For victory points, and then these have got to be for the meat hall. I know nothing about them. I am seeing the usual resources for the game, though. I see provisions and gold and coins. So these look like there's going to be new ways to trade things in to get points. Two-sided tiles. You got some five times provision tokens, so there's a chance you could run out of provision tokens. That's a nice touch, so you don't need extra components. And five times coin tokens. So we're up to two punch boards so far. Three punch boards. Wow, that is filled to the brim. I just want to point out just how close that is to the top on whatever this board is here. So next we have wooden components. We got a nice mix of stuff in here. We'll look at those in a minute. We got new cards, a significant deck of new cards, including obviously new heroes. And what do we have here? We have player boards or boards. I don't even know if they're for players. Is every player going to get their own meat hall? It sure looks like it, because there are now two of these, three of these, four of these. Can't get it out. Five of these. Six of these. Guess how many people gameplay? Six players. So we have six new player boards. Which is interesting, because in the previous game, you never had a player board. You just kind of had a playing area in front of you. So obviously, you now have a spot to put your five Vikings that are on your ships. And then there's some kind of tracker up top for victory points. And then there's something here with the Jarl. We're going to close those up. 
These are nice thick boards. None of that, um, we're not going to call out another company at this name, but none of those companies that just give you a thick card. It's a nice mounted boards. Nice mounted player boards. And then we have what we knew was coming, a mead hall. So it looks like the mead hall is going to have a spot for four of those tiles and three cards. So this might be a new place to hire heroes. As noted at the beginning of this video, I've not played this expansion. I'm looking forward to it. Raiders is amazing. I only hear good things about this. So you put all those boards back. So this is, that's the chunk. That's the bulk of this box are these individual player boards. Let's take a look at what we get for bits. What kind of bits do we have? So there are, I had mead. I am looking at mead. These are mugs of ale, orange mugs of ale. Or mead, I guess, sorry, not ale. Mugs of mead. Nice wooden components. I've always been a fan of the component quality of Raiders of the North Sea. No change here. We got a mug with a bit of froth at the top. This is something I am certain there's got to be a company out there that has silk screen versions of these or little mugs. Oh, little mugs would be awesome. If you could get little mugs, tankards, that'd be really cool. But still, nice component. I've, no reason to upgrade them, but if you wanted to, I bet you they're out there. I see at least one new Viking in here and a bunch more gold. So yes, we have one more, one new Viking Meeple, which looks the same as the original game. Horned helmets and all. I know, historically not correct. How terrible for my board games. And a bunch more gold. So there must be some new way to get gold. Gold resources and three banners for tracking something. Who knows what, where they're going to go. But three banners for tracking things. These match the shape and size of the banners in the base game. One of the things I love about Raiders of the North Sea is that you don't change anything based on the number of players you play with. You always have like the same number of Vikings, the same number of resources. So it's interesting to see that there's more. Uh, the cards do not have a nice easy to remove, which is somewhat disappointing. Okay, so it looks like there might be a purple player. This may add another player, which would be why there's one more Viking in there. Because this is a ship for a fifth player. So the base game may only play four. I may have remembered that wrong. I would have to look it up. There were definitely five player boards in here. So this may change the game to be a five player game. Which I don't think would be a bad game. Because this is not a long game. So no, no quick to open thing. A little bit disappointing. Hey Renegade. I prefer if there's, you know, the cigarette pack style. But I have a handy hobby knife. So. Interestingly, I didn't see anything on the back of the box noting that this added another player. But yeah, this is definitely a purple banner for having a purple player and another Viking. So you'd have your starting Viking for their hand. All right. New Warriors. Are all of these? Yes. Oh, almost. A whole bunch of new Vikings and new Viking types, which I'm sure do new things. Uh, this is a hero. Finally more heroes. That I'd like to see because the base game only had three heroes. So if you played four players, there was no way for every player to have a hero. That chain, this is also a hero. A hero... So we have three new heroes at least. That's really nice to see. So now every player can hire a hero in Raiders of the North Sea with this expansion. Love the art. Miko's art is fantastic. I know it's not for everyone. Some people are not a fan. It's, it's definitely not a photorealistic type, as you can tell from this shepherd. But I like it. I dig it. It's, it's a certain type of caricature I really enjoy. Always love the fact that we have a mix of males and females. It's a nice touch. Um, we have a new brewer, of course, who's going to go along with those nice casks of mead. A rogue, a ferryman. Wow, that is a creepy looking guy. You ever read a Cthulhu book about the Innsmouth look? Might be that right there. We got the meddler. I'm amused by that. Uh, worshiper of Loki there. And so on. I'm not going to open through all of them here. We're going to hold some out. Whole bunch of new Vikings to hire to go raiding the North Seas. Then we have a nice new setup card. Which also has on the back endgame scoring reference. Nice touch. I always like that. Interestingly, there's only three. Um, I don't know why three and not five since it's five players for sure. And a new boat for the, the fifth player. So bonus, I had no idea I was getting a fifth player out of this. Everything fit back in the box nice. Um, as noted before, these punch boards are not going to fit. But once they were punched, there is lots of room to fit them in here. 
I would assume this would fit in the base game no problem, but I haven't tested that for myself. So again, this isn't going to quite close, but you know what? It didn't close when I got it. And that is normal, which I actually like, which just means the lid's going to fit nice and tight once I do have everything punched and opened. So there you have it. That was my unboxing of Hall of Heroes for Raiders of the North Sea from Renegade and Garfield Games. I am an absolute fan of Raiders of the North Sea, as I'm sure you heard during the video. I love Miko's art. I love the gameplay in that game. The unique mechanic of place a worker, take a worker. I've not seen done anywhere else, and it's just brilliant. Um, really looking forward to getting this to the table. Uh, if you want to hear my thoughts when I do get that to the table, be sure to follow me on social media, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Head over to the website, tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find all kinds of reviews, including a review on the original Game Raiders of the North Sea, and lots of other cool gaming goodness. If you dig what you watch today and you like our content, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. If you like watching things instead of listening, no, listening instead of watching, you're watching now, I hope, um, you can also catch me and my co-host Sean on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where we answer your gaming and game night questions. Consider us a Dear Abby for gamers. If you've got a question, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop at the top of the page. That's it for me. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Good night and game on.